Thank you for visiting DermatologySpanish.com. Please take the next few minutes to watch this introduction so that you can better understand the features of our site. First, you will notice that we are focused exclusively on the terminology and phrases used in dermatology. Because of this, you will get the most out of this site if you have at least a fundamental understanding of Spanish vocabulary and grammar. If you don't, there are two resources that we recommend. The first is the workbook Practice Makes Perfect Spanish Verb Tenses by Dorothy Richmond. It's inexpensive and easily found on Amazon. Despite its name, it goes beyond reviewing verb tenses and actually contains quite a bit of vocabulary as well. If you're looking for a larger, well-rounded video-based course, then Fluent Spanish would be our recommendation. Second, it's worth noting that our emphasis is on Spanish as spoken by the patients we generally see in the United States. The vast majority of the Spanish-speaking population in the U.S. are from Mexico, while the next largest groups are those from Central America and the Caribbean. In the U.S., non-English-speaking patients from Spain are quite rare. Therefore, our emphasis is not only on Spanish as spoken in Latin America, but the content is also written with a slight leaning toward the Mexican dialect. On a related note, you may even find some words in our glossary which would be considered incorrect by academic standards. After careful consideration, the decision was made to include some of these since although they may be considered informal or slang, they are used by many of our patients. So with respect to the definitions, let's take a look at the glossary now. You can reach it by clicking this link under the Resources tab. You can search terms directly from the glossary page, and you will also find a search tool such as this one on the right side of many of our website's pages. One innovative feature we think you'll find helpful is that the glossary identifies defined words wherever they're found, and you'll see those terms highlighted in red. As you hover your cursor over the word, or tap with your finger, for those of you on a mobile device, a tool tip such as this pops up. As you can see, inside the tooltip, you'll find the word's definition, a sample used in context, as well as a thumbnail video. For translation of words not found within our glossary, we've also enlisted the help of Google Translate. So, even if a word isn't highlighted in red, just double-click it, and you'll see the definition provided by Google. A key objective of ours is to help you better understand words and definitions as they're used in a context which is familiar to those of us in dermatology. To do this, we've translated a number of patient education handouts, such as the one reviewing skin cancer, seen here. To see a full list of similar translations, click the Patient Education tab under Resources on the menu. Additionally, we've created a number of vignettes, which are essentially audio recordings of dialogue you'd expect to hear during an actual dermatology visit. You'll notice that as the recording plays, the dialogue is subtitled beneath with the subtitles also connected to both our glossary and Google Translate. So as you listen, click pause at any time to confirm the translation by either hovering your cursor or double-clicking the word as previously described. Finally, interaction is encouraged. If you have a question that we or other website visitors can help answer, visit our Q&A page. Our team at the Association of Certified Dermatology Techs includes several bilingual staff members who would be more than happy to help. Also, don't forget to use our social sharing buttons if you have friends or colleagues that you think might benefit from our site. In the end, our goal is to improve the quality of care provided to our Spanish-speaking patients. Thank you. And if you wish to contact us directly, you can reach us by email at info at